This tutorial video demonstrates the use of the Manual Gyro Bias Estimation feature for MTI devices. This feature can be used to estimate gyroscope biases in a quick and easy way, with a final goal to achieve a more stable orientation output. Manual Gyro Bias Estimation is particularly useful for devices that are unable to achieve a referenced your output. This includes Vertical Reference Units VRUs, AHRS devices making use of the VRU General Filter Profile and GNSS INS devices when they're standing still. As an example, we connect an MTI20 and visualize its data using MT Manager. We will leave this device motionless during the remainder of this video. As you can see, the yaw angle of this device is drifting. This is the result of sensor bias. When integrating a gyroscope signal with a constant zero rate offset, the resulting output angle will increase or decrease at a constant rate. Since the MTI-20 is a VRU, its roll and pitch angles are referenced by gravity, but its yaw angle is unreferenced. This means that the main source for estimating yaw is to integrate gyroscope signals. Although every MTI is calibrated in-house, sensor biases are subject to change over a product's lifetime. Therefore, the onboard filters of the MTI continuously try to estimate these biases in order to reduce drift. This could, however, require time and some dynamics. In order to support the device in estimating its gyroscope biases, we can force the device to do so by effectively informing the device that it will be motionless for a given time period. This is called manual gyro bias estimation. In MT Manager, click the gyro bias estimation icon and choose a time period. We'll use the default setting of five seconds, but a longer duration allows for a more accurate bias estimate. After clicking Estimate Now, you have informed the MTI that it will not be moving for the next five seconds. This is useful for the filters of the device, as it can now assume that the averaged value of the gyroscope signals will equal the gyroscope's bias. After these five seconds, the MTI has obtained a better estimate of its gyroscope biases. The result is that the your output is no longer drifting. You can also use the status word output to check whether the estimation has been successful. After activating the estimation, a corresponding status bit in the status word will rise to 1. The status bit will drop back down to 0 after a successful estimation. In case the filter has detected too much movement during the time period, the status bit will drop down to 2 thirds and the resulting gyro bias estimate will be discarded by the filter. The manual gyro bias estimation can also be activated through low-level communication by using the set no rotation command. Here, we use the device data view to compose a set no rotation command with a period of four seconds. This low-level command can be very useful for certain applications. For example, consider a warehouse robot on wheels. The control unit of the robot uses the orientation output of the MTI as a control input, and based on its current orientation, it actuates the wheel motors to move or rotate to a desired place. The control unit can be programmed to automatically initiate a manual GBE every time the robot is standing still. This ensures optimal gyro bias estimation and reduces drift of orientation estimates. We've reached the end of this tutorial video. If you have any questions, or if you need help with your activation, please visit us at BASE. BASE is our online support platform where you can find knowledge base articles, frequently asked questions, and an active community forum where you can get in touch with our engineers and product specialists. Thank you for watching.